So, from the national elephants to what was the elephant in the room, Calvin Phillips. But there have been developments. And, Michael, tell us about the deal. Yeah, and it's good news, potentially, for West Ham, Mike. They've reached agreement with Manchester City for the loan of Calvin Phillips. So, we also understand there's an option to join the club on a permanent deal next season. Now, but it's good news for West Ham because we know about the teams we mentioned. There was a lot of interest. Maybe a little bit of surprise it's taken this long. Look, we know Kevin Phillips has been pretty happy with how things are. He's not been itching to leave, but we've talked from Pep Guardiola. He's even said himself that he needs to move on. He feels terrible for him. It looks like it's close. Potential medical in the next 48 hours. Flying back uh, from their warm weather training camp in Abu Dhabi. So this looks now to be moving at a rapid pace to the London Stadium. The only thing I'd say is, <laughs> sorry to pour cold water on that for West Ham fans, but we told you last week that there were five other clubs interested in Calvin Phillips. Juventus, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Newcastle, Palace and West Ham, right? What are those other five clubs doing? Just because West Ham have agreed a deal, a loan deal for Calvin Phillips, doesn't mean he's going to go there. That player in your screen there still has an awful lot of say on where he goes. And I think the ball is now in the court of those five other clubs to see how they respond. West Ham have stolen a march on them. They're interested in Calvin Phillips. I've been talking to Tim Thornton, who's been right across this story, one of our senior reporters, knows Calvin Phillips very well, knows his people. And he's made it very clear to me that the interest West Ham have had and David Moyes in Calvin Phillips is long-standing. Even before he left Leeds, they made inquiries about getting him. So the relationship between David Moyes and that man is, is long-standing in terms of him knowing about... West Ham and David Moyes' respect and, 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 and how impressed they are by him. But it's not done yet. As I understand it, he's still flying over from Abu Dhabi, where he's been with Manchester City. Medical, we can't get that tied down. Doesn't seem as though it's imminent in the next 24 hours. Is it going to be sometime in the next few days? What does Calvin Phillips want? We haven't heard from him. Where he wants to go could have a big say. How those other five clubs respond could be vital as well. Michael, that's a great point. I was going to hit you with this. Given the calibre of the other clubs, particularly those in Europe, is it a surprise that, at the moment, West Ham are leading the race? Uh, well, look, what I said at the start as well was that it doesn't seem that he's in a massive rush. It's not as if he's lost his England place. We know how much Gareth Southgate loves Calvin Phillips. He has to make a decision. He seems happy. Even when he lifted the Club World Cup trophy, when he hardly had, had any minutes, he's still happy. I know people say, well, he's not going to look like Victor Melger, is he, on a, on a TV screen? <laughs> but even so, it looks like he's always happy. He's part of the squad. But what we do know is Pep Guardiola himself said, I'm very, very sorry, it's just not going to happen. What we also know is Roy Hodgson has come out and said, we'd love to have him. He'd get plenty of minutes here. We also know Newcastle United situation. We do know that clubs in Europe don't have a lot of cash. So what we will find out over the next few days is potentially what Manchester City have asked for. We know that it was a significant loan fee and we know the situation in football clubs at the moment. But what, as Rob says, we do know is West Ham are ahead. And what can they offer him? European football. I know it's been a tough few weeks for West Ham United, but what David Moyes has done at West Ham United, they've not only just won a European trophy, they're Europa League regulars at the yeah, moment. Yeah. They will be in the knockout stages. So he will play plenty of games. You speak to West Ham United fans, oh, I like the look of their midfield. They sold their best midfielder, but look at it at the moment, it's looking pretty strong. So he has got a lot to think about, but for him, I think it's a positive evening for him. Yeah, but Rob, he has to get in the England squad, which means he's got to play football. If, he do, if this move to West Ham does happen, does that increase his chances? Hugely, hugely. I mean, look, Gareth Southgate has been playing him, even when he's not been playing for Manchester City. You've had this crazy situation where the England manager has been giving that man on your screen there game time in international football when he can't get game time for his club to try and get his fitness levels up, to try and keep him within the England setup. That's how highly he th is thought of by Gareth Southgate. Gareth Southgate will be absolutely delighted if Calvin Phillips gets a move in this window, and he'll be delighted if it's somewhere like West Ham where he's going to get a decent amount of game time. Add to that the fact that Jordan Henderson by the way, has just got his move to Ajax, where he's going to play regular football at well, perhaps not the, the strongest league in Europe, but at a much better standard than he was playing in Saudi Arabia. That's competition for Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips will have noticed that and go, hang on, I'm competing with Henderson for a place in that England squad. If I don't get getting games, can Gareth Southgate justify taking me? So he knows he needs a move. I mean, from what Tim Thornton's telling me, he and Manchester City want this sorted pretty quickly now, this week. 
they don't want this dragging into the final week of the transfer window next week. So things could move pretty quickly. I'm just saying don't put your house on it. Don't state your house that it's West Ham because there are some very, very big clubs that, other than West Ham that are interested in Calvin Phillips. Michael, Rob said something interesting there. He said if he goes to West Ham, he'll get lots of minutes. Will he? Because that West Ham... Um, midfield looks pretty good to me. Well, what West Ham and David Moyes did after Declan Rice's departure, although, albeit it took a few weeks afterwards, they recruited very well, particularly in midfield. Kudus, who might be coming back a little bit early from African Cup of Nations because of Ghana going up. You've got Bowen up front now. You've got Pakatar, But you've got him alongside Alvarez. You've got James Ward-Prowse, Thomas Suchek. But he would have spoken to David Moyes. I'm sure, well, he, he will end up speaking to David Moyes about his place in the side. They're out of the domestic trophies, but as I've said, they are in Europe. He's got decisions to make. As Rob says, it's not done yet, and West Ham are in front.